Three minutes. Thank you. Madam Speaker, I rise in opposition to H.R. 7910. The violence that occurred in Uvalde, Texas was horrific. As we consider the pain these families are experiencing, we can do more now. Let's focus today on a, as a, like a laser beam on protecting our precious children. My friends on the other side of the aisle want us to vote on a hasty, partisan, and overreaching package of bills they developed in the middle of the night without any Republican input. The legislation we are considering today is clearly designed to strip law-abiding Americans of their constitutional rights. In a town hall meeting last summer, President Biden himself said he'd like to ban the sales of handguns and rifles, full stop. No wonder law-abiding Americans see this legislation as central federal overreach. History has taught us some great lessons. One is that liberty once lost is lost forever. I grew up in the Deep South, where for a time, black Americans were unable to defend themselves. After the Civil War, Democrat black laws and Jim Crow laws prohibited people of color from owning firearms. Most people have heard the phrase 40 acres and a mule, an order issued in 1865 that allowed 40,000 former slaves to live on hundreds of thousands of acres. After the assassination of Abraham Lincoln, the Democrat president, Andrew Johnson, a Confederate sympathizer, confiscated this land displacing thousands of black American, Americans and families. This is an example of why the right to bear arms is necessary to safeguard and protect our life, liberty, and property. The Democrats' proposals are unhelpful in protecting our kids and go against all common sense. They ignore, ignore real solutions that will keep our children safe and help prevent future acts of sen senseless violence. Most importantly, they are, proposing, they are not proposing anything that protects our children now. We don't need to spend another two years fighting over solutions. We have solutions available immediately. The Securing Our Student Act. My legislation would empower local school districts to immediately reserve, uh, receive unspent funds from the American Rescue Plan and implement security measures in their schools now. Of the $122 billion appropriated to the American K, K-12 schools in last year's $1.9 trillion American Rescue Plan, Roughly 93% remains unspent. I invite my colleagues to join me in demanding that these hundreds of billions of dollars be immediately used to help local schools determine and implement the safety measures that best fit their communities. We can harden our schools and protect our children at school now. We can never bring back those precious children we've lost, but we can and we must work together to prevent future, uh, future tragedies. This is a solution that will harness the full weight of American innovation and technology and keep our schools safe now to ensure that no child, educator, or family has to say goodbye to a loved one because of any kind of violence. Thank you, and I yield back. Gentleman from New York. Mr. Speaker, I now